Howdy, folks. Welcome to our corner of the Wild West. Today, we're dusting off the history books and taking a nostalgic ride into the world of Annie Oakley, the classic television series that captured the hearts of audiences in the 1950s. Annie Oakley is a television series that aired in the 1950s. The show is based on the life of the legendary sharpshooter Annie Oakley. It originally ran from January 1954 to February 1957, and it starred Gail Davis in the title role. The series follows the adventures of Annie Oakley, a skilled markswoman, and her friends as they protect the town of Diablo from various villains and outlaws. I'm your guide on this journey, and we'll be catching up with the stars who brought the frontier to life. From sharpshooting legends to the lawmen who kept the town safe, we're diving into the then and now of the main actors from Annie Oakley. Gail Davis as Annie Oakley. In the gentle hills of Little Rock, Arkansas, on October 5, 1925, a pioneer was born. Gail Davis, a name destined for greatness, would go on to become the iconic Annie Oakley, a symbol of strength and resilience in the golden age of television. Fast forward to the present, and we find ourselves in the presence of a timeless legend. Although Gail left us on March 15, 1997, her legacy lives on. Career. Gail's journey into showbiz began with a passion for storytelling, taking her from local theaters to the grand stage of Hollywood. But it was her portrayal of Annie Oakley that shot her into the stratosphere of television stardom. Most successful roles. While Gail Davis had an illustrious career, it was her portrayal of Annie Oakley that defined her legacy. The sharpshooting, quick-witted heroine became a symbol of empowerment, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers across the nation most prestigious awards. In an era where accolades for actresses were as rare as a shooting star, Gail's impact didn't go unnoticed. While major award ceremonies may have overlooked her, the admiration and love from audiences were the most significant testament to her success. Jimmy Hawkins as Tag Oakley. On November 13, 1941, in Los Angeles, California, a young star was born. Jimmy Hawkins, the charismatic actor, began his journey in Hollywood at a tender age. As we catch up with Jimmy in the present day, we find ourselves reminiscing about the days when he played the mischievous yet endearing Tag Oakley. Career. Jimmy's Hollywood journey started as a child actor, gracing both the big and small screens with his charm. But it was his role as Tag, Annie Oakley's younger brother, that endeared him to audiences. Jimmy's career extended beyond Annie Oakley, and he continued to make his mark in the industry. Most successful roles. While Tag Oakley remains a beloved character, Jimmy Hawkins went on to showcase his versatility in various roles. From classic films to television appearances, his career is a testament to the enduring charm of a young actor who grew up before our eyes. Most prestigious awards. Awards may not have been as plentiful as Tag's youthful pranks, but Jimmy Hawkins earned his place in the hearts of fans. His ability to connect with audiences, whether as Tag or in other roles, is the true measure of his success. Brad Johnson as Deputy Lofty Craig. In a dusty corner of Wichita, Kansas, on October 18, 1924, the world welcomed Brad Johnson. A rugged, no-nonsense actor, Brad would find his niche as Deputy Lofty Craig in Annie Oakley. As we look back on the years, we find ourselves in the presence of an actor who added a dash of law and order to the chaotic town of Diablo. Career. Brad Johnson's journey into acting saw him playing a range of characters, but it was his portrayal of Deputy Lofty that became a cornerstone of his career. With a steely gaze and a quick draw, Brad brought justice to the small screen, earning the respect of fans and peers alike. Most successful roles. While Deputy Lofty Craig remains an iconic character, Brad Johnson's career included a repertoire of roles that showcased his versatility. From tough lawmen to complex characters, Brad's performances added depth to the narratives he became a part of most prestigious awards. In an era where the Western genre dominated television, Brad Johnson may not have received the spotlight of major awards, but his contributions to the genre and his ability to bring authenticity to his roles were commendable. Bob Woodward as Sheriff Will Simpson. In the rugged hills of Denver, Colorado, on June 15, 1914, a resilient spirit named Bob Woodward was born. As we traverse through the annals of Hollywood history, we find ourselves in the presence of a seasoned actor who left an indelible mark on the Western genre. Bob, who departed this world on August 3, 1995, aged 81, was most celebrated for his portrayal of Sheriff Will Simpson. 
Career. Bob's Hollywood journey began in the heyday of classic cinema, and he quickly found his stride in the world of westerns. A journeyman actor with a knack for authenticity, Bob rode the trails of Hollywood, gracing both the silver and small screens with his commanding presence. Most successful roles. While Bob Woodward played a variety of characters throughout his career, it was his role as Sheriff Will Simpson in, Annie Oakley, that resonated with audiences. His portrayal of the principled lawman became synonymous with the era's depiction of justice and order in the Wild West. Most prestigious awards. In an era where westerns dominated television, accolades for actors in the genre were scarcer than water in the desert. Despite this, Bob's ability to bring Sheriff Will Simpson to life earned him the respect and admiration of fans and colleagues. Ken Duncan as Marshal Ben Sanford. In the heart of Toronto, Canada, on February 17, 1902, Ken Duncan was born. As we traverse through the dusty landscapes of Hollywood's past, we find ourselves in the presence of a Canadian actor who left an indelible mark on westerns. Ken, who rode into the sunset on February 6, 1972, aged 69, was most celebrated for his role as Marshal Ben Sanford. Career. Ken Duncan's journey into acting began with a passion for storytelling. Crossing the border to Hollywood, he became a staple in the Western genre, captivating audiences with his robust performances and rugged charm. Most successful roles. While Ken played a range of characters throughout his career, it was his role as Marshal Ben Sanford in, Annie Oakley, that showcased his prowess. As the stalwart lawman, Ken brought a sense of authority and reliability to the screen, becoming a fixture in the Western narrative. Most prestigious awards. In the era of Hollywood's golden age, awards for actors were as elusive as a tumbleweed in the wind. However, Ken Duncan's contributions to the Western genre and his ability to breathe life into characters earned him the respect and admiration of audiences. Henry Kulke as Bart. In the bustling streets of Hastings, Pennsylvania, on August 11, 1911, Henry Kulke, a man of considerable stature and talent, was born. As we journey through the golden years of Hollywood, we find ourselves in the presence of an actor who left an indelible mark in the world of entertainment. Henry, who took his final bow on February 12, 1965, aged 53. Career. Henry Kulke's Hollywood journey began with aspirations beyond the saloon doors. His towering presence and distinctive voice made him a sought-after character actor. Henry's career encompassed a range of roles, but it was his portrayal of Bart that added a touch of charm to the chaotic town of Diablo. Most successful roles. While Henry Kulke played diverse characters in various genres, it was his role as Bart that showcased his versatility. As the owner of the Diablo Saloon, Henry brought a mix of rugged charisma and a touch of warmth to the screen, making Bart a memorable character in the Annie Oakley narrative. Most prestigious awards. In the world of character actors, awards were as rare as a winning poker hand in the Old West. However, Henry Kulke's ability to inject personality into every role earned him the appreciation of audiences and colleagues alike. And that, dear viewers, concludes our journey through the dusty trails of Annie Oakley, where we've revisited the legends who brought the Old West to life. The echoes of gunshots and the laughter in the Diablo Saloon may have faded, but the legacy of these remarkable actors lives on. Before we saddle up and ride into the sunset, we want to hear from you. Who was your favorite character in Annie Oakley? Did you grow up watching these Western classics? Share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments down in the comments below.